the typical baby in the U.S. is uh, born at seven pounds of weight. This is the typical baby. One percent of babies in the U.S. each year are not even half the typical weight. This is the very low birth weight baby, at most three pounds, four ounces. These babies comprise half of infant deaths each year in the United States. These tiny infants are the most vulnerable patients in a hospital. They're cared for in neonatal intensive care units, and they are completely dependent on nursing care. My research in a national sample of 550 neonatal intensive care units shows that babies born in hospitals recognized for nursing excellence have significantly lower rates of dying, of having um, intraventricular hemorrhage, which is a brain bleed, and developing an infection during their hospital stay. I'm also showing that the nurse staffing uh, for NICUs is systematically irrational. That the most stable babies called continuing care receive more than the recommended guidelines of nursing care, and by contrast, the most unstable and complex babies are not getting the nursing care that is recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics and the National Association of Neonatal Nurses. Now the Jesse Scott Chair, Jesse Scott was Assistant Surgeon General and ran the Division of Nursing at HRSA in the 60s and was the architect of federal funding for nursing education. And so this endowed chair gives me the resources and inspiration to continue with the next two steps in my work. One is to look at what features of these NICUs account for the better outcomes. Maybe it's the nurse's education experience or environment. I'm also going to develop a web-based acuity tool so that nurse managers can input their baby's acuity levels and it will give them guidance to correctly staff according to the baby's needs.